Hey guys, and welcome back again today. So, you'll notice that everything is currently black. That's because I'm going to be playing some Undertale today, which I don't know much about at all. I know it's supposed to be really good, and I know that there's a skeleton in. I don't know if he's good or bad, or any of the details, really. So, this is going to be a pretty blind playthrough. And I did open the game once to try and check some settings, and I realised that um, there's some sort of introductory thing, which is why I haven't opened it up yet. So, I'm going to open up the game and let the introduction sequence run and then I'll talk some more about random stuff so just an explanation for why the game wasn't open immediately which should hopefully show up in a second and there we go one day I missed the first bit anyway one day we'll work out between the two races after a long battle I think it might be a bit loud, victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Okay. Many years later. Mount Ebbett. 20 something. Well, apparently we're past the time of Undertale now. Legends say those who climb the mountain may never. The mountain never return. I feel like I'm going to have to turn the game volume down if I can. Hey Luca, how's it going? I'm assuming the game volume is quite loud for you, at least it feels like it might be. Oh, oh, well, trial old person's falling down the pit. Ow, face plan. Yeah, the game doesn't have any volume sliders, so I'm having to try and tweak it through OBS. I'll get it as soon as the cutscene's done. Actually, I can probably just do it now. I don't know if that's any better. Press 2 or enter. That's a random choice of keys. That's still loud, isn't it? Jeez. Yeah, this game's lack of volume settings is a bit awkward. Hold on, I'll take it down some more. Uh, how's the sound level now, Luca? It's convenient you're here. It helps me figure out the sound balance. It's good now. It's not too quiet. Because I turned it down quite a lot that time. Okie dokie then. Thank you very much. So, yeah, um, I have no idea about this game. Basically, I know that it's got like a kind of old school art style and... I know the, was it, Meg, Metroidvania, Megalovania song, and that there's a skeleton in it. I don't know if he's even a good or a bad guy, so this is very much me going in blind. Um, I checked earlier, and there's an amazing settings option. Always wonderful. Um, how do I get that? I don't even know if I should be using a keyboard for this or a controller, but a keyboard is what I'm using, so hopefully that's alright. I'm going to tell you this. Well, I don't want any spoilers, but if it's not spoilerish, then feel free. Kill all or none. Because, I mean, I tend to play games like that anyway. Well, or at least I attempt to, as you can see from my stealth games, where I try not to kill anyone. So, we'll see how it goes. Anyway. Um, when HP is zero, you lose. Well, that's not terribly surprising, is it? Anyway. Oh, hello. Name the fallen human. Well... I guess... Oh, what's with the jiggly text? Guess I will be Kegel since, you know. Okay, I'll figure it out. Is his name correct? Feels weird not having an S on the name, but that is how I am when I stream, so Kegel... What? Does all the text in this game jiggle? I think it's going to give me, like, motion sickness or something. <laughs> uh <laughs> Okay. Is this a cutscene? Oh no, I can move. <laughs> I'm just sitting here blankly staring at the screen expecting something to happen. <laughs> can I Okay. Can't jump. Do I Oh, how's that? What was that? Okay. I've got some stats. I've got a stick and a bandage. No money. No attack or defense, no experience, and a bit of HP. How do I how do I escape from this? Um let, let me out. Menu, please. Oh, 
Okay, so C is menu, X is backwards. Okay, we're making progress here. Um, I should really pay attention to the actual primary menu thing. Whatever. Well, I'm assuming we go. We can't go off the path. No. Is there supposed to be music here? Because it's gotten very quiet now. Like there's no sound at all. Oh, hello. Happy little... Oh, no, we've got a bit of sound now. Howdy, I'm Flowery. Flowery of a flower. That's a very creative name, Flowery. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't you? I don't know if I'm going to try and do accents. Um, yes, I guess I am. Golly, you must be so confused. I am indeed quite confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Okay. So we've got a friendly flower dude. Here we go. Turned into a heart. You see that heart? That's your soul. Very calm, culminating of your being. Wait. No, it's not mouse. Okay, I can move my soul around. I guess that's kind of cool. Can I bump into walls? Um, do I... No. Your soul starts off weak, it can grow strong <clears throat> if you gain a lot of levels. Okie dokie, we fight with our souls. At least I assume it's fighting. What's level stand for? Like, oh, wait, no. Love. Never mind. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Okay, also the Kawhi flower. Love is shared through little white friend friendliness petals. Are you ready? Move around and get as many as I can. Wait. I feel like I've been stabbed in the back before I was suddenly got angry at me. What? Um, okay, apparently I'm an idiot. In this world, it's kill or be killed. I feel I feel betrayed already. How how mean? Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Wait, my box got smaller. Now there's a lot of... Oh, jeez. Is this like a bullet hell game? What? I have no idea what I got myself in for here. I just heard the game was good. Um. Uh. Wait, I can't dodge that many... What? Wait, they stopped? Okay. Uh. Cow goat lady came along and set the... F thing on fire. I am highly confused. Don't be a friend, my child. Okay, I'm not sure I trust you. I'm still trapped in a weird little soul box. Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I thought this place was called the underground. Pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You're the first human to come here in a long time. Come. I will guard you through the catacombs. Okay. I'm just not sure I trust you. Can I leave? Oh, I can. Cool. Let's go go home. Wait, is that what? Is the flower dude gonna be here again? That looks kind of like him. Hello? Grown flowers. They must have broken your fall. Oh, fair enough. Anyway, I guess I'm following Cow Lady. Uh, I think she went upwards, right? Yep. <clears throat> um, I'm still not sure if I trust her. Okay, can I just go, go around? No. Right, you're I'm just going to go around here. It's a sparkly thing. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. Ah. Oh. HP fully restored. Oh, well, that's not. Oh, saves. Wait, do you get one save point? Is that is that a thing in this game? I assume no saves coming. Mm, looks like it. That took me five minutes to get here. Can I read that? Wait, what? I need to go through it. I was trying to read the thing above it. No. Fine. Hello, welcome to your new home. I'm living in a dungeon. Okay. And this is one. Uh, I still don't trust the cow. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. Okay, walk on buttons. Solve puzzles, open doors. Oh, she a goat. I don't know. Goat, cow. It's kind of hard to tell in this graphic style. 
Unless it told me before, in which case I apparently failed to read whilst reading. Ancient fusions between diversions and dorpies. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the site. Aha, I pressed all buttons, do it. Only fails may, may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk, not the middle road. Okay. So I guess the tiles give you hints. What? No, I want to... I want to read this. Okay, so... Stay on the path. Well, I already failed that. <clears throat> Well, it's like, stay on the path, but I already failed by walking off the path to... Wait, press Z to read signs? Okay, I was pressing enter, and also, I wouldn't have been able to read the sign to learn how to read signs without knowing how to read them. Okay. Stay on the path. Oop. I'm a genius! Hmm. Oop. Splendid. Um, thank you, Goatmon. She seems very motherly. I'm not sure I trust her still, but... Human living underground monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Store for time, I'll come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to a dummy. I was kind of expecting it to be like, Fear not, winning battle, you can beat up your enemies or something, but no, she's just like, have a chat with me. Okay. <clears throat> you encountered a dummy. Um. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice a lot today. <clears throat> she said to talk, but none of these talk. Act. Oh, I see. <clears throat> Wait. <laughs> what? How do I stop acting? I assumed it'd be Z, but Z seems to go forward still. Oh, I see. Um, mercy? I shall spare the dummy. Wait, I, I don't want to do this. I want to, um, how do I stop being in this screen? Is there? Wait, was that it? Okay, shift. Does right shift do the same thing? Sorry, I'm just trying to learn the key. Yeah, okay. So I can use like, enter, right shift, and arrow keys, which is kind of what I'm going with at the moment. Do I have any items? No, I guess not. Well, I want to be to talk, right? Hello, dummy. I won! Yay! I beat a dummy by talking it to death. I don't know. I'm, I'm somewhat confused. <laughs> Uh, um, can we talk to you some more? No. There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Well, last time we had to stay on the path, so... Wait, what was a puzzle in that room? I'm being attacked by a frog. Um, she told me to talk to it. Threaten it. Can compliment it. Um, frog, what are you? Frog it. Five attack, four defense. Life is difficult for this enemy. Oh, poor frog it. Uh, okay. Cow lady protected me, I guess. Was that a random encounter? Can I find more frogets? I want to talk to it. Hello, Frogget. Is this like Pokemon? Do I just walk around randomly? Well, I've totally gone off the path now, so if that was the answer, then I've clearly failed. 
And I guess I could try walking on the path again. Was this game designed to be played with a controller or a keyboard? I'm not sure. I'm guessing we're not finding more frogs. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. Okay, so the western room. I guess I need to see the eastern room to figure out what that means. Ah, I think I get it. I can't move. This is a puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. Wait. I thought I was supposed to be solving the puzzle. Well, this is just cheating. Overprotective goat mother person. Have a different request. I like how the music's got all like. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, we're getting attacked in the room, or. Then again, based on how she's been trimming so far, probably not. Kind of long room. Doo -doo -doo -doo. It's a very long room. It's like one of those th things where I have to like double back at some point or it keeps going forever. Oh, no. Hello. Wait, what? Oh, hello. Uh, that was... This is a very... This is not really what I expected from the game. First of all, we have a friendly sunflower who tries to stab me in the back, and now we've got some goat lady who's extremely protective of me. Which I guess is maybe because the sunflower just tried to stab me. I must attend some business. I'm still alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. The, the goat has a cell phone, okay? If you have a need of anything, just call me. Be good, alright. Okay. So just wait around here. Wait, how do I even... Hmm. Wait, I can flirt with the goat? Okay, that's a bit weird. Hello, goat lady. Oh, Toriel. I just keep calling him. Hi there. Hello again, Toria. Yes, I'd like to know more about you. There's not much to say. You're just a silly little lady who worries too much. I mean, you clearly worry a lot, but that wasn't very informative. Um, I mean, she's acting kind of like a mum. Maybe she'd appreciate it. Hello, Toria. Huh? I can't tell if she was happy or, like, disconcerted by the child she met two seconds ago calling her mother. I'm a bit apprehensive to flirt with the goat lady. It feels kind of weird after calling her mum. But I'm curious, so... Okay, I have no idea what I said to her. <clears throat> um, she told me to wait around here, but I'm not really sure... I mean, last time she told me to walk on my own, she was still there, so I guess I could... Oh! Hello, Kiru... Oh, jeez, I'm bad with names. Kira... Kira? Kira the Ice Queen? I think that's it. It is nice to meet you. I'm just playing Undertale for the first time. I was told to wait here by a goat lady, but I don't know if she's coming back. I can phone her, but that doesn't seem to help much. So, I think I'm going to... 
Stick my head in the next room, see if she's there. Oh. Is that frog got eyes or does it have like testicles wiggling about? I mean, like, I, I don't know what's going on. It just looks a bit weird. Oh, hello. So I was supposed to go to the next room. Hello, this is Toro. How are you doing, by the way? Um, I'm just going to call you Kira. Is that alright? I can call you Ice Queen if you prefer, but it feels a bit weird. <laughs> um, how are you doing today, Kira? And hello, this is Toriel. Have you not left? You've not left the room, have you? Oh. She pulls us ahead. I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try and solve them yourself. Be good, alright. So she wants me to go back again? Hmm. I guess we can go back. Just gonna avoid the frog. Okay, let's get a save here. Oop. What happened? How's that? Whimsome. Is this a weird... Is this like a Pokemon style? <laughs> I'm getting confused. Um, well, apparently I'm supposed to talk to him. Wait. I don't have an option to talk. Um... So? Oh. Um... Hello, what's this? It says, take one, take a piece of candy. I mean, candy seems pretty good. Uh, I already took one candy. Hello, frog. Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If the monster does not want to fight you, please use some mercy, human ribbit. Okay. I'll save again, I got some candy. I take it as you arrived here, Kira, because you follow the Undertale category. That's how most people end up in my stream. Oh, I'm finding something again. What's going on now? <clears throat> oh, a frog. Um, he wanted me to show some mercy. I can compliment the frog dude. Good frog dude, you look very froggy. Oh. Wait. Oh no, I'm in the soul box again. Ah, leave me alone frog dude. Um, okay, he doesn't want to fight me, so I can spare him. Sweet. I'm following Mother Goat's teachings. I'm being very friendly. Ooh, um... Hmm. Okay, do I have a... Wait, what? Not again. Um, you look very nice as well, Frog Dude. Okay. So this seems to... Whoa! This is not what happened last time. Ah! Leave me alone! Okay, that caught me off guard. I was expecting him to try and eat me... Uh, to jump on me again. Didn't realize there was multiple types of encounter. Um, was there a guide to this room? Is it the same kind of thing? So I start at the top and go across, maybe? That's what it was like earlier, so... Oh. No, that was the wrong answer. Hmm. Okay. We've got a Whimsome again, let's see. Oh yeah, he runs away if I can console him, doesn't he? Which I guess is fine. Oh, okay. I guess I was supposed to go out the other door. I thought that... Oh, I guess that makes that simple. Ring ring, hello. Toriel. No reason for, in particular, which do you prefer, cinnamon or butterscotch? I don't really like cinnamon, so I'm butterscotch. Hello again. Okay, I'm assuming she's got, like, some cinnamon for me or something. 
I don't know, maybe the child version of me in this game likes cinnamon. If you're out of four grey rocks, recommend you push them. Woohoo, puzzling. Oh, now what? Hello again, Froggit. Doesn't stand, but he's happy about it, and then I have to dodge around. Are you gonna try and eat me? Oh no, angry flies. Leave me alone. Aha, I escaped. And now we can spare him. Sweet. I wonder if I can spare him. Oh, I got gold this time. Wait, did I get gold the other times? Oh, I did. Um, monster candy. What is monster candy? Heals 10 HP, has a distinct non licorice flavour. <laughs> Fair enough. Okie dokie, let's move on. So, yeah, I. My entire understanding of this game basically is I know that there's a skeleton dude in it and he has some cool music. I don't know if he's good or bad guy. I don't know when he appears. That's about the only thing I know. Other than I knew that it had like a kind of old school art style. Um. Well, last time these all fell down. Yeah, that's about what I expected. Oh. One second. Is this like a... Can I... Get out? What's this? Please don't step on... Oh. Sorry, I already stepped on the leaves. I'll go around them this time. Uh, jelly? Mold small. Flocked the way. Hello, Mold small. Um, you look... Very sexy today, Mold Small. <laughs> uh, you don't need to tell me anything about the game. I'm enjoying kind of going in blind. Not, I'm not complaining too much, but... Um, let's see. Oh, I need to dodge around again, don't I? Oh, what's this? Um, just over here. That was easy enough. Now what? Can we, can we spare you, Moldy? There we go. I felt a connection to him, considering my avatar kind of looks like the mold small. Okay, so it was like right over at the side. And then I went down, and across a bit, and then up. Oh dear. Oh, I thought I'd gone too far. More mold. Okay, let's flirt with some more mold. Feels a bit weird being a small child and flirting with mold jelly stuff, but okay. Also, just hiding up the left seems to work quite well against these enemies. I'm assuming it probably gets harder later on. Um, hi. Oh. Sorry. I guess I didn't... Oh, I also apparently forgot what the right hand side of the thing was like. Okay, so you go down to the bottom of the cross. <coughs> Can we sprint? No, we can't. Go down, we go across. Down. <laughs> oh, there's two frogs. Hmm. Um, you. Oh, I can't. I can't compliment them both at once. Um, frog at A, you look nice. Why did the other frog meow at me? Whoa! What's going on? I'm getting hit by two things at once. Um, I will spare the first frog. No, it's the angry. Ow. I'm not good at this. That's new. What's new? Okay. So we're floating with... No, wait. Compliment from. Oh, no. You jump at me, isn't he? Aha. You can't jump that high, Mr. Frog. You should be spared and I should take your gold. The frog meowing. Okay. Well, I mean, it's all new to me. Okay, so we don't want to go that far over. We have to like here, and then I think we could go one to the side. Cross. Oh. Hello again, frog. Uh, we compliment you. Doesn't understand that he's flattered. Now, what kind of attack are we getting? He's flattered, but he's still angry. There we go. And then we go mercy. This is easy enough. I mean, I say easy enough. I've been getting hit, and these are like the first enemies. I'm probably supposed to just not... Wait, I got super confused there about where I was. Oh, this is going to be a long playthrough. <laughs> if I say that, I have no idea how long this game is. Okay, we go down, cross, up, cross, down, and then down to the bottom, right across. Okay, 
think I remember it this time. Don't stand flattered anyway. Okay, what kind of attack is it going to be? The easiest one to deal with is the jumping thing. Okay, we spare him. Then we go down, right across, and up. Woohoo, finally made it. Do we get a phone call again or no? Hmm. Oh. I keep forgetting that almost Pokemon style we can get random encounters. Okay, frog number A. Wait, there's a lot of squares here. Can you get like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Can you get 12 enemies at once? Because that would be horrifying. That would probably turn it into like a bullet hell type game. It's a very long game. Okay. Uh, no, it's not very long. No, you don't get 12 enemies at once. Oh wait, I haven't um, complimented him yet. Most is three. Okay, makes the board seem kind of random, but maybe I'll figure it out later why. Okay, complimented little froggy dude. Got the little flies coming in again. Dodge those. Wait. Did I just flee instead of mercying? Because something ran away off the side and that was weird. Whoa there, pod pardoner? Who said you could push me around, hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you. Okay. Um, okay. Want me to use more? I would appreciate it. Um. Oh, oh. Yay! Thank you, Rock. That was a very... Hey! I'm a bit scared that this rock's gonna kill me. Compliment both and then spare, I'll end... Okay, so the sparing thing hits everyone that's currently complimented. A little more small. I feel like you're my, I don't know, compatriot in this game. Still think it's a bit weird that I'm flirting with you, but... Uh, what does this one do again? Oh, it's a floaty thing. So far, every time I've floated stuff, I've just hidden it the left-hand side and I've been fine. And then we spare it, and we go away again. Okie dokie, and we continue on. I didn't really think, can we... Do we get any different responses if we call... More mom from wandering around? Toriel. You want to say hello again? Salutations. Is that enough? Um, I guess so. Oh, sweet. Save point. Known the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese. It fills you with determination. Can I take the cheese? Oh. Wait, is that a mouse hole? Hello? Mouse? No. Um... Seems to be a ghost in the way. Can I go around? Hello? Z, 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 have they gone yet? Z, Z, Z. This ghost keeps saying Z. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't want to force him to move. That feels rude. Can I ask him to move? I guess I have to. Yes, I, I get it. I get it. Fine, I'll force you to move. Leave and come back. Well, that's an interesting idea, actually. Let's try it. Yes, Mr. Ghost, I'm gone. No, no. He's still sleeping. Can I get around anyway? No, I think we're going to have to push him. Sorry, Mr. Ghost, but you're in the way. How do I even force a ghost to move? It's a ghost. I'm gonna push it. I can just walk through it, can't I? Here come. Oh, the green border thing's changed a lot. Nap, stab, look. Well, that's kind of a concerning name. Um. Congratulations, nap, stab, look. 
Oh, you're crying at me. Oh, what's going on? Okay, that was a heck of a lot more difficult than it looked before. Um, I should check all new enemies? Okay. Pack 10, defense 10. Monster doesn't seem to have much sense of humor. Okay. I don't know how that helped me. Uh, um, okay. I'll share him on some more, I guess. He looks sad. <clears throat> oh, seems like he appreciated that. Oh no. More angry tears. That one's so bad. He's improved and moved. Can I mercy him yet? How do I know if I can mercy him? Um. No, no, no. Well, I guess that was not. Oh no, not this one again. Ow. Ow. Okay, that attack is kind of painful. Um. I guess we need to cheer him on some more. You want to show me something? Okay. Wait. Did you just cry a hat onto yourself? Um. No, apparently this was not a time for this either. Although he didn't give me many, um, Tears that time, so I guess maybe one more time. No, oh, we didn't have to mercy him. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around, but today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I got out of your way. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Ghost. Uh, what's that? Frog. And some cobwebs. Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Um. Leave 18 gold in the web. That seems a bit expensive. Leave 7 gold. Why am I paying spiders gold? What are they going to give me? Um, hello, flower, uh, fell Sands. How are you doing? Well, I guess I'll give them some gold. I don't really know what you need gold for. Oh. That was very kind of them. I can't afford to get the expensive one, though. Maybe I can find some more dudes to forgive into giving me money. It's a bit of a weird concept. Anyone home? Hmm. I think it was back here where I found some enemies, right? No, I'm not seeing... Uh, there were some frog dudes in this room. Aha. If we can get up to... Oh! Oh, jeez, that's a lot of jellies. Um. Hello, Mole Smalls. Oh, I've got a lot of flirting to do. Oh, that was... I was meaning to flirt. Oh, jeez. Whoa, what the? How am I? Oh, okay. I'm gonna die a lot in this game, aren't I? <laughs> okay, so we'll flirt with the third one. First one. Now, oh, what's going on? Are oh, these gonna explode again? God, they are. Oh, jeez. Yes, Luca, but <laughs> you didn't have to say it. <laughs> okay, let's see. Are these all exploding? Ha! See, I didn't get hit that time. So we're trying to flirt with all of them and then forgive them all at once, maybe? How are you doing, anyway, Flower? I don't know if I said that already. I might have. Sorry. Um... Burgle, Scorch, and Scorch. Oh, are these all going to explode? Oh no, these are just floaty things. That's fine. Floaty ones are easy. Okay. So now I can spare... Okay, you were right, Luca. I can spare them all at once. But I guess the risk is that I'm fighting more of them each time. So I have to go through 30 sets of all three of them rather than, like, getting rid of one and then making it easy. Three gold. Well, that's not enough to get me any spider goodies. 15. I think I need more, but my health's a bit low. I think that was a safe thing here, right? Don't know why I'm now grinding in this game for gold to give to spiders the things my life has came to. Let's 
try one more fight and then hopefully we'll have enough to buy something from the spiders. I'm just curious honestly what they give me. Oh, great, more giant hordes of jelly. Okay, what you gotta do is time. Okay, I just floaty, that's fine. Just ignore those. Floaty ones don't cause me any problems at all, it's the exploding ones. They kind of remind, remind me of like dandelion puffs. Oh, I think some of these, yeah, explodey ones. Oh, jeez, I nearly got hit there. Oh. Why has that message been held? I have no idea why auto mod. Apparently, the auto mod picked up the term nuggets. I've got it set to like the lowest sensitivity as well. I don't know what that was about. Um, where are we? I don't know. I think I've flirted with more now. Well, I mean, for a long time it kept getting angry about my name. Like, it didn't like KIG, part of my name. Even a few times after I had, like, manually put it in as an acceptable term, it was still flagging every time someone tried to say my name. Like, I understand the in why it might dislike the entirety entirety of my name due to how it might sound if you change the first letter but I don't know why the KIG bit would be an issue but nevertheless um do I have enough gold now I think it was 18 wasn't it I can go buy a big thing from these spiders mm, I'll save okay so let's go over and find the spider bait sale again assuming it's still going and, um Sure. Gave me a jug. The jug do. Wait. They're ripped off. Where's my jug? Oh, spider cider. Wait, they're giving booze to a child. Wait, made with whole spiders? So this is like cannibal spider drink. Wow, that's. I got dark all of a sudden. Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down to the right. Come eat food made by spiders, for spiders, of spiders. Oh wait, is the donut made of spiders as well? Spider donut heals. Donut made with spiders, with spider cider in the batter. So yes, because, um, hello frogs. Ribbit ribbit. Sigh. My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. Okay, that's right, pressing X. Blah, blah, blah. But, well, at least you listen to me. No worries. Ribbit, ribbit. I hear using F4 can make you have full screen. I've already done this. But what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I've only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least. Ribbit. Okay. Ribbit, ribbit. I have heard. I don't know why I keep saying ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> Jeez. Um, I have heard you're quite mute as a four frog human. Surely you know by now a monster wears a yellow name when you can s No, I didn't know that actually, but that is quite useful. What do you think of that? Um, very helpful. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. Okay. So, I can choose... Oop. I didn't... Oh, this is a new one. Mo Mig... Migos? Oh, Migos. Well, molds. Oh wait, I can already spare the mold small. I don't need to float with it. I don't know how that works, but we'll talk to Migos. Dance? I can't dance. Oh, you mean the jelly dance? If you're asking me to dance, you're out of luck. I can't dance. Well, I mean, I can do like Scottish country dancing, but that's not really practical right now. Okay, Miz Migos. Seven attack, five defense. It seems evil, but it's just with the wrong crowd. Oh, okay, this is a some large amount of mass. No, I'll get it after. Okay. Hello, my gosh. Guess he didn't want to talk to me. Ro mold. <clears throat> mold small is ruminating. He doesn't care. Hmm. 
I mean, I can't do anything else to him if I don't want to fight him. Mm. Oh, wait, these aren't the exploding ones. Um, well, let's, um, I don't know. Let's forgive the old small. <clears throat> oh, what's going on here? I see what you mean about dancing. Oh wait, he's yellow now, so now I can forgive him? Oh, he's in with the wrong crowd. So you have to get rid of the people that are with him, and then you can get... Oh, I get it now. The words are important, not just for flavour. Um, hello? Ring, ring. Well, just ring, actually. Hello. I just realised that it has been a while since I have cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You will want to leave room in your pockets for that. Okay. Enjoy your nuggets, Luca. Okay, what are we doing now? There is just one switch. Um, okay. I see no switches. Okay, so we need to spare him. When he dances, then we can spare him as well. Is that right? There we go. Okay, that's easy enough. Um, I guess I have to go down one of these. Ah, switch. Oh, Ghost Dude's down there, though. I'm going to go see Ghost Dude. I think he was in this one. Oh, and there's something in that top left one as well. Hello, Ghost Dude. How are you doing? I fell down a hole, now I can't even get up. Go on without me. Wait, Ghost can fly. Can't they? Indeed they can. Oh. oh, wait, there's something down there now as well. Okay, I guess I'm going in all the holes. No carrot. Oh wait, am I not supposed to? This is a bad thing. Oh dear. The Vegetoid came out of the earth. Hello Vegetoid. What are you? Vegetoid. Attack 6, defend 6. Serving size 1 monster? Not monitored by the USD. <laughs> okay. Okay, he's throwing random food at me. Um, hello Vegetoid. Plants can't talk to me, but you just spoke to me. And I mean, my other options don't seem particularly non-lethal, so I guess I'll talk to you some more. Oh, ow. Doesn't seem to be getting me anywhere other than injured. Um. I don't want to accidentally eat him. It feels a bit mean. Try talking one more time. Oh, this feels like I'm going round circles, but... Oh, I'm Yeah, this isn't going anywhere. Um, dinner? Wait, does he want me to eat him? Oh, there was a green one there. Am I supposed to eat that? Okay, let's try and catch the green one. Okay, so we have to get him to feed us. Interesting. Wait, I didn't even fall down. Is that another carrot? Oh dear. Okay, I get it. Okay, so we do dinner. He offers us food. We catch a green carrot. And then we forget him. Okay, so we don't need to go into the um, top 
left one. We just want to get the switch, right? Oop. Oh, hello, what are you? Luke's. Can you see why it's called Luke's? What can we do for you? Attack six, defense six. Don't pick on him. Family name, I walk it. Okay. Please don't pick on me. I wasn't planning on doing it. Okie dokie. Smells like eye drops. Interesting. Don't pick on. Um, um, ow. I didn't pick on you. Why'd you have to pick on me? I don't want to go beat up the car anyway. Well, not beat him up. Forgive him. He's just sitting there. He gives me delicious food. And we get gold. What's not to love? Do, do, do. Another I dude, um, we don't pick on you. There we go. I feel like this game is going to get pretty hard eventually with these little mini games that I'm not very good at. But so far I'm having fun. It's definitely different to what I'm used to playing, but. Um, okay, what's going on? The far door is not an exit, it simply marks a rotation in perspective. Press it, yes. Sure. Nothing happened, okay. Okay, so for some reason we can just spare the jelly straight away, then he dances, and then we can spare him as well. This is like the easiest combination of enemies. Okay, it's another switch. Nothing happened. Another switch. Well, these switches aren't very useful, are they? If you can read this, press the blue switch. I'm not really seeing a blue switch, but sure. Oh, we're not going to pick a new. Oh god. Um, we're not going to pick a new either. Ow, oh, geez, that one came out fast. Okay, we can both go away. Blue. Is there blue in the other room? Yeah, there's a blue one here. What? So it's a change in perspective. I think I know what that might mean. Okay, so I'm going to go back into the other room. If it's just a change of perspective, it's probably behind one of the pillars, right? It's hidden. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. So, would it be here? Aha! Put that. Wait, is this the same thing again? If you can read this, press the red switch. I mean, it's just here. That wasn't exactly much of a puzzle, was it? Okay, I've got a vegetable and the angry dude. So we need to eat the vegetables thing, and then he'll go away and be an angry dude all. Um. Ooh, ow. Well, I mean, that was a bit messy, but it worked out. There we go. I could do is another save point to get my health back though. Um Okay, what would have lost now? Oh, another empty car. Okay, this one's again the easy one. This is just free money. We get to do a little dance. There we go. Okay, what we're we doing. You can read this, press the green switch. This one. 
Aha, my memory works. Which is unusual, actually, for... Oh. These guys, just don't be mean to them. Still wish they'd return the favour by not attacking me, but... I'm also still confused why the jellies just don't mind... Ow. Ow. Jeez. First time I've been hit twice. Why the jellies don't mind me anymore. Anyone got one of them save stars? Oh, hello, frog. Ribbit, ribbit. Just between you and me, I saw Toriel come out here just a while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk, talk to her? Hmm. Uh, is that a knife? Oh, toy knife. Oh, I guess I can't go anywhere else in here. Toy knife, weapon at three. Made of plastic, rarity nowadays. Fair enough. Do you have anything else to say, Frog Dude? Ribbit, ribbit, just between you and me. Saw Toro come out here. Hello, Mine Creeper. Jeez, I'm getting a lot of people that I've not seen before today. I'm guessing Undertale must be quite popular. How are you doing today? Well, I guess we're going across the flower bed road. Uh, leaf. Oh, this tree doesn't look very good. Oh dear, I took longer than I thought it would. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? Until it's a very nice game. Yeah, it's kind. Of, it's pretty fun so far. It's not quite what I expected. I got shanked by a flower at the start of the game. That was kind of weird. And then I was told to forgive everyone, so I've been friendly to everything I've met so far. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there, I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Uh, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Uh, goat lady, your tree's a bit dead. Every time this old tree grows any leaves, they fall right off. No, oh, poor tree. Oh, safe one. But yeah, I was saying earlier, I don't know much about the game, so I'm playing this pretty much completely blind, which is kind of fun. I'm kind of surprised, honestly. I've heard a lot of things like it's really good, but I'm surprised I've managed to go for this long without getting any major spoilers as far as I'm aware. Again, I know there's a skeleton dude that I don't know much about, but... Uh, do you smell that? Surprise. It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. Oh, so it's both. Fair enough. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Okay. Here, I have another surprise for you. Okay, guess we're following you. Oh, uh, this is it. A room of your own, I hope you like it. Oh, that's cool, got a little home base. I guess we go out exploring from here or something. Uh, make yourself a home. Sure. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. Yeah, Sans, I had heard that before. I just don't really know if he's good, bad, neutral. But I look forward to finding out eventually, or soon, I have no idea. A box of kids' shoes in disparity sizes. Okie dokie. Can we go to bed? Apparently we can. Oh wait, did I was I supposed to go have dinner with her? I feel kinda of bad now. Toriel's diary. Read the circle passage. I mean, that's kind of rude, isn't it? We shouldn't read people's diaries. Can I sleep in her bed? Definitely bigger than twin size bed. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open the middle. Typha, a group of small wetland flowers. Brown pods, more commonly known as water <laughs> sausages. Okay, okay. Joe is... Better to not spoil the game. Joe? I don't know who Joe is. Room under renovations. Okay, can we look through for... Oh, hello, it's me. Inside the drawer, flower bed seeds and some broken cranes. 
Okay, in this one? No. Okay, okay. I guess we will explore some more. Go see if we can find Mumma Goat. Hello, Mumma Goat. How are you doing? Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favourite book hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps it isn't very surprising. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can... She seems happy to have me, so that's fine. Some light first stuck in the drain. <laughs> For some reason, there are brand name chocolate bars in the fridge. Nothing wrong with wanting a bar of chocolate. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. The size of this pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. The stove top is very clean. Toro must use fire magic. Well, apparently there's magic in this game. Fair enough. I, mean, I guess that shouldn't be too surprising. Hello, fire. Hello, bookshelf. It's this historic book. There's a random page. Trapped behind a barrier in a fair fall and further from human attacks, we retreated far, far into the earth. We walked until we reached the cavern's end. This is our new home, which we named Home. Well, it's a very creative naming scheme that these people had. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. I, I notice this. Okay, well, let's go downstairs. Wait, didn't... Is this basement or something? I don't remember being down. Oh, hello. Nope. I think you should play upstairs instead. It's a little bit suspicious. Should you go do it again, I assume? It's dangerous to play here. Fine, fine. Maybe I have to wait till like, I don't know, does she go to bed at some point? Maybe if I go to sleep? Still seems like it's probably daytime, but maybe she's in bed and I can sneak down now. No, jeez, she's on the ball. It's drafty here, I'll catch a cold. Hmm. Okay then. The books are worn, they must have been read many times. Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 21X. Look, twen 20... Yeah, what? I don't know how I can say that. Um... Kind of bad asking when I can go home. It's called 72 uses for snails. Am I going to be eating a lot of snails down here? Not sure. Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails talk really slowly? Just <laughs> sure, it's interesting. Well, bother me if you need anything else. Um, Kind of bad, but oh, um, I guess she didn't want to talk like that. Mm, see if we can go find her. Maybe I upset her by talking about leaving. Hello. Scandalous socks, okay. What's it with this lady and snails? They're kind of rude, but can I... Sure, let's read the diary then. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. <laughs> oh dear. So she has a bad pun sense of humor. Um... I'm assuming she's downstairs, but just wanted to check she wasn't out. Oh, I guess she went into the basement. Maybe we can go find her. Oh, hello there. 
wish to know how to return home, do you? Not. Toriel equals tutorial. Oh, I guess those words do sound pretty similar. Uh, yes, sure. Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one way exit to the rest of the underground. Wait, one way? Does that mean I can't come see her again? That's kind of sad. Um, I'm going to destroy it. Wait, never mind. Okay, this didn't go quite where I thought it was going. No one will ever be able to leave again. Uh, okay, now I'm starting like you're trying to give me Stockholm Syndrome. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Um, I feel like I should probably try and talk her out of this. Hey, goat mum, please stop. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. They've seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. Okay, fair enough, I can kind of see what her concern is. You know, you child, if you leave the ruins, they... Asgore. No idea who Asgore is, but... Or who Asgore are, since it's they, will kill you. I'm only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. Um, I still kind of feel like you shouldn't destroy it. Like, I don't know, maybe board it up or something? Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. I feel like a very disobedient child right now. Is that a fancy looking door? Do you want to leave so badly? Just like the others. Well, I don't want to leave. I want to come and go, to be honest. But apparently the door's one way for some reason. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Wait, I have to fight goat mum? I don't like this. Um. Hi. What the hell? 80 attack and defense. Goat mum's gonna kill me. Okay, never mind. That can do as much damage as I expected. Um, hey, goat mum, please. Didn't think of any conversation topics. Well, that was. What the. Okay, good one, scary. Um. Ooh, how did that? Damn it. I might need to consume something. I think the monster candy gave me 10 health, right? There we go. Delicious, delicious candy. Oh, now there's two hands. Leave me alone. Ah. Talk to us some more. Try to think of something to say again, but this isn't working out so well. Okay, more talking. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to this situation. Well, I don't want to fight her. Ow. Okay, I guess we can run away. She doesn't seem impressed by my attempts at sparing her life. Probably... Ow. This is going really badly. Um... I didn't check how much the pie here was before. Or the donut. Um, well, for now, let's... Well, we're getting an extra line of dots. So the first time I had dot dot dot, now I've got dot 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 dot. Oh, wait, this thing's different. Now we've got a question mark. Oh, yeah. Okay, the hand one's not too bad. Just acting aloof. What are you doing? You taught me not to attack people. Okay, one more time. Attack or run away. Seems to be getting annoyed. I'm not sure if that's a good thing. One more time. What are you proving this way? I don't know, but I'm doing what you told me to. Ow. And that I might die soon. Fight me or leave. No. The other one told me to fight like this. Deal with it, goat lady. Stop it. What, stop not attacking me? Ow. I'm not very good at dodging that one. Looks through me, you've got x-ray vision. Stop looking at you that way. I don't know how I'm looking at her, but I feel like I'm doing something. Oh dear. Ow. 
dying is part of what I'm doing, isn't it? Okay, come on, four health. I should really have used Ethan and Donut by now. More mercy. Fear my mercy. Oh, wait, we're going back to the dots again. I can't think this might not be working. Although, her type pattern seems to be changing. I know you want to go home, but... Oh, really wild one now. Oh, she didn't attack me that time. Oh, and I can't flee anymore. Can I talk to her now? No, no, apparently not. Please go upstairs now. I feel kind of bad. She seems like she's lonely. I feel really guilty about leaving now, but I don't. I don't have a choice to not leave anymore. Didn't expect this game to make me feel quite so sad. <coughs> I'm gonna choke on water. Oh, jeez. Oh. My apologies. I'm really bad at drinking water, apparently. We can have a good life here. I mean, your one was making it really difficult. Haha. Uh -huh. You know, she did not like laughing out of um, being upset thing. No. I don't think you're pathetic, goat mum. to go away like this. I feel sad now. I want to go back and find her. I also want to go outside and heal, actually, because she nearly killed me. Definitely a case of um, hard love. Or tough love, that's the one. Hello? Oh, speaking of things to do, I never... Wait, how do I... I forgot to check. What does the pie do? All HP. Okay, pie is very powerful. I'm glad I didn't use it. I imagine that will probably come in useful later on. Is she in her room? Hello? No. Is she in the closed room? Room under renovations. Hmm. Can I not see her anymore? That makes me kind of sad. I don't know what I was expecting from this game, but... Well, I know I have to finish the tutorial. Jeez, calm down. I just wanted to see if I could go say bye to her again. You can hear her when you go completely back. I don't understand mine creep. Creepy. I mean, like, right back to the start? I don't know if I can bother walking that far. It's kind of a long journey.
Yeah, I'm not sure if I can be bothered, or especially not last streaming, walking all the way back to the start of the game. It's quite a lot of walking, and I feel like I'd bore anyone that's watching. Also, the door is smiling at me. It's kind of weird. Oh, jeez, I was expecting... Wait, I thought the door was one way. What happened to the door being one way? Such one-way door. Okay, anyway. Well, I guess we move on. Hopefully we do meet her again later on, because, I don't know. Goat lady was very nice. A lot nicer than angry flower dude. Everything's getting lighter. Does that mean I'm getting higher up? Oh, maybe this is a one-way bit. Hello, anyone home? Oh, not you again. I'm leaving. Wait, I can't leave? God damn it. Don't like you, flower dude. You're an asshole. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play your own... So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. Hee <laughs> hee. I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die and you'll die and you'll die until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it? You're a sunflower and you were scared of a goat mum. What are you going to do? Or is she actually like super powerful and stuff? I don't know. Um, I mean, to be fair, so far everyone's stats have been like 10 at most and hers were 80. So maybe she's like the end boss and I'm just confused. Uh, I'm the prince of this world's future. Sure you are. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. Okay. This is so much more interesting. You just grew a pretty big face there, little flower dude. Well, that was strange. Oh, I guess that's... Well, clearly that's the end of the game. No, <laughs> I assume that's the end of the tutorial. I like how it's got like a... Almost like a credit roll going on though. <laughs> Is it supposed to make you think that that's the end of the game or something? Is that the idea? Oh, this feels like a weird perspective change now. I always felt top down before and that was very sideways. I can't even talk to the door about going back. Wait, what? There's a camera hidden in the bushes. Well, that's weird. I, I know, I know, Kara, I was just joking. Well, I said no, I guessed. I didn't think the game was really that short. And also, I've not seen the skeleton dude, so... Unless I had to kill everyone in order to find the skeleton. Oh. Still flinging branch, too heavy to pick up. I don't know. Unless I had to kill everyone to see the skeleton dude, then that wouldn't have made sense. Also, whilst it was interesting, I don't think it would have gotten as much attention. That's weird. I felt like I saw a shadow thing following me. That was kind of strange. I think it was probably just the like tree shadows in the foreground, but... Well, this looks safe. Mm. Wait. Hello? Oh, there was a shadow thing following me. I'm not going crazy. Human. Don't you know how to greet... A new pal. Turn around and why is it so light? Slow. Shake my hand. Okay. Hi there. Nice to meet you. Oh, wait, this is a skeleton dude. Okay. So you meet him pretty early and he seems to be friendly. Easy. The old whoopee cushion in the hand tray. <laughs> Makes some interesting sound effects when it types. It's always funny. Anyway, I'm a human, right? I'm not sure why it's hilarious, but sure. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know. Well, I mean, you found a human, so clearly you're doing your job, right? You don't really care about cat. Oh, wait, you were supposed to capture me. Now, my brother Papyrus. He is a human hunting fanatic. Oh, well, that's not very good. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. 
I have an idea. Go through this gate thing. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Okay. Pick behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Okay. <laughs> Sup, bro. You know what? Sup, brother. It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great papyrus, will get all the things I utterly desire, deserve or desire. I didn't read that. Um, respect, recognition. I will finally be able to join the royal guard. People will ask to be my friend. This is getting strange. That's why I, I love this smug expression on the cape. I will bathe in the shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. <laughs> Sans, you're not helping, you lazy bit. Well, this is certainly taking a more quirky approach now. That's all that music. Is it loud enough to hear the music on stream? Oh, you just sit and boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done lately. A skeleton. <laughs> okay, I get the feeling this um, game is full of bad puns. Oh, really? We had to zoom in? <laughs> this game keeps throwing me off. At first it seemed friendly, then I got shanked by a flower, then I met a friendly mum goat, then I had to abandon her, and now I found a skeleton that's making puns. I'm so confused. It's funny, but I'm confused. Sans, come on, you're smiling. I am, and I... <laughs> Sorry. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone. Terrible. <laughs> I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. Oh jeez. Well, we didn't have to zoom on him for that one, though. But he's back. <laughs> oh jeez. Come out now. Wait, can I move around? Okay. What are the two testicle-looking rocks? Just a conveniently shaped lamp. I don't know. You ought to get going. He might come back, and if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. <laughs> it's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station, but there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Can I have some ketchup, mustard, and relish? No, apparently not. Um, well, that was an interesting... Wait, actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Thanks a million, I'll be up ahead. Wait, up ahead? But he went this way. Do I have to go back? Oh, don't know. I'm just gonna keep going this way. Oh, save point. Nice. Oh, when I say this, I can't go back and see Goat Mum anymore. That makes me kind of sad. Box. Use the box. Sure. Oh, gloves. Mm. Tough gloves. Weapon at five. A warm pink leather glove for five fingered folk. What happens if I use it? I mean, I'm not really fighting anyone, so I don't know if I need to have anything equipped. Oh yeah, I think I had a stick before as well. Stick, weapon at zero. Its bark is worse than its bark. <laughs> Should I be equipping a weapon if I'm not attacking people or not? I'm not really sure. This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. 
The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Okay. So I guess I can put things in that I don't need. Like the knife. And I guess the stick. Oh, hello. Whoa, hello, you're big. Snow Drake flutters four. Hello, Snow Drake. Attack 12, defense 7. This team comedian fights to keep a captive audience. Better not snowflake out, oh god. It's even worse than the skeleton buns. Um. Ha ha ha, very funny. Oh, so I just have to laugh at him once. Fair enough. Oh, got a lot of gold from him. What's up here? Oh, fishing. Hello. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Sure. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me. Here's my number. Oh. Oh, wait. That's the thing. Can I still call? Oh. That makes me kind of sad. I assume it'll just be the same thing? Yeah. Okay, okay, I get it. I'll just send the line back out. There we go. Well, that was kind of random. But yeah, do I... Oh, um, do I want to have a weapon equipped or not? Like, does it help if I'm not fighting things to have a weapon equipped? Or should I just keep my stick? Because, I don't know, stick. If anyone can let me know, that'd be cool. Um, Sans has a very wide face. Sometimes you have to fight. Okay, so I guess a weapon's important. So, as I was saying about undying. <laughs> Sans, oh my god, is that a human? Wait, that was a rock behind me. Uh, actually, I think that's a rock. <laughs> what the hell is with this game's sense of humour? I mean, clearly it's working because I'm laughing, but... Oh my god, Sans, I finally did it. And then what? I'm gonna... I'll be so popular, popular, popular. Ahem. Human! You shall not pass this area. I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, 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 I'm not sure what's going to In any case, continue only if you dare. Yeah. Well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. Wait, if you want to capture me, why didn't you just capture me? Now what? Uh, it's got like a drill for a nose and a crystal for a head. Ice cap. 11 attack, 4 defense. Teen wonders why it isn't named Ice Cap. Okay. Your head looks naked. Whoa, okay. Did not expect this. Not hard puzzles warning. Um, nice hat. Wait, can I steal his hat? Maybe I have to steal his hat. I'm just gonna ignore him. I can't even steal your hat. Am I weakened enough? Hmm. Doesn't need to compliment his hat more. Hmm. 
I maybe I have to hit him a bit, but not kill him. Just check if I'm looking at his hat. Okay, then I won't look at his hat. Okay, so I have to ignore the hat. Fair enough. Hello, Cobble Box. The narration of his Cobble Box. You observe the well crafted sentry station. Who could have built this? You ponder. I bet it was that very famous Royal Guardsman. No, not yet a very famous Royal Guardsman. Okay. Okay, yeah, I, I get it, I get it. Oh, I guess we keep walking. Hello? Absolutely no moving. Well, I moved. Deal with it. Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Doggo blocks the way. Hello, Doggo. 13 attack, 7 defense. Easily excited by movement. Hobbies include squirrels. Okay. That, that's fairly simple. Good dog. I have been pet. <laughs> Fair enough. Something pet me, something that isn't moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats. <laughs> Hello, is that Yeah, that was a good bit of gold. Someone's been smoking dog treats. Well, that's interesting. Hello again, Skelly you. Hey, there's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Is your brother a dog? Because that was the dog's thing. Here's a new way to keep in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs in yellow. Okay. Ooh, slidey. North, ice, south, ice, west, ice. East, Snowden Town, and ice. Well, let's go find some ice. Ooh, hello, snowman. Hello, I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, traveller, please take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Sure, why not? Thank you, good luck. Snowman piece. Heals 45 HP. Please take this to the ends of the earth. Okay, I will not use you for healing. I will just carry you around. Sans is very good at teleporting in front of me. You're so lazy. You were napping all night. I think that's called sleeping. Excuses, excuses. I do like music. Ho ho, the human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Can I just go around? Sorry, I forgot to read. The uh, next puzzle will not be easy. It's designed by my brother Sans. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. Yeah. It wasn't easy. 
Hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. He keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? Ooh, it's nice that they get along. Oh, I don't have the orb anymore. Hello, dude. I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer. Would you like some nice cream? It's a frozen treat that warms your heart. Sure, I'll have some. Nice cream heals 15 HP. Instead of a joke, the rapper says something nice. Can I buy more of it? I can, but... I don't think I need loads of it. It feels a bit excessive. Don't want to take up all my bag space. Hmm. Oh, it melted. Back here. It's like trying to play golf on ice. No. Yay! I'm not sure what that achieved. Purple. Even when you fell trapped, you took notes and achieved the end of the ball. You were awarded two gold. Okay, that was random, but sure. It looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow... Snow decahedron. Okay. Can I take it with me? I guess not. This is quite a peculiar game. Wait, can I pop... I wonder if I get another one in. Hopping and twirling, the original style forgery through. You're awarded two gold. Talk to Sans. Okay, fine. I was just playing golf. I've been thinking about selling treats too. Want some fried snow? It's just fried snow. That sa that sounds like water. I mean, you can technically fry ice cream. But, sure, I'll play along. Uh, no, I don't think I want to pay 50 gold. Um. Okay. Sure. 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 Yes. Oh, that was interesting. I'm just curious if the calls do anything different. I'm going to do it one more time and see what happens. Whoa. Ah. No. Green. Your concerning care for ball led you to a delicious victory. You're awarded 1G. Okay, I'm guessing this just keeps going on forever, so... I'm gonna wander off now. Smell danger rating. Snow smell snowman white rating can become yellow. What? Unsuspicious smell. Puppy. Blue rating smell of rolling around. Weird smell humans green rating destroy all at all costs. Confusion increasing. His. 
Cause... Uh... What is that? Snow pile. Snowman white rating can become yellow rating. Unsuspicious smells blue. Weird smell. Humans green rating. Talking about selling fried snow again. Sure, sure. Hmm. Ah. Human, I hope you're ready for Sans, where's the puzzle? right there, on the ground. Trust me. There's no way we can get past this one. Monster Kids Word Search. Hey kids, can you help me solve this puzzle? Um, yes, probably. Um. I know I should have used today's crossword instead. What crossword? I can't believe you said that. In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. What, really dude? That easy peasy word scramble? That's the baby owns. Unbelievable. Human, solve this dispute. Uh, I'll, I'll go with Sans, I guess. He's been my buddy. You two are weird. Crosswords are so easy. It's the same solution every time. I fill all the boxes with the letters Z. Because every time I look at a crossword, all I can do is... The virus finds difficulty in interesting places. Yesterday he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. Fair enough then. Oh, hello. More notes. It's a note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy this spaghetti. Little do you know this spaghetti is a trap designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realise that you aren't progressing. Thoroughly japed again by the great Papyrus. Yeah, Papyrus. I feel like he doesn't understand the concept of, like, internal monologuing. Knowing the mouse might one day find cheese. Wait, no, no. I just remember from earlier. My one my finest hot spaghetti. Fills you with determination. Okay, let's save. Supply to frozen <laughs> So cold it's stuck to a team. It's an unplugged microwave. All the settings say spaghetti. Well that's not really very useful even if I wanted to get distracted, is it? Hello. Warning. Dog marriage. Oh, lesser dog. He looks like a pretty great dog to me. He's got a fucking giant shield and a long sword. Pet, 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 pet. Lesser dog. Twelve attack. Two defense. Wields a stone da stone dagger. What kind of dagger is that? Pat. <laughs> Best dog. Hey, it's I was saying, can I still remember your name? Uh Ipsum Smeralt? No, Lipsum. It was L, wasn't it? Lipsum Smeralt. Is that right? Maybe? <laughs> nice to see you again anyway. You barely lifted your hand and less the dog got excited. Tiny bark. Oh wait, no. Oh, what? Well, that came out of nowhere. LP is the one, that. Oh, wait, hold on a second. I can just spare him now. Okay, so I need to be careful for... Ooh, hello. Who's this? Hmm. Hmm. Between two trees, apparently. Pacifist run? This is the first time I've played the game, so I don't know, I'm just doing what the goat lady told me to do. She told me not to attack anyone. 
and she seemed quite friendly, so I've been following her advice. There's a switch hidden in the snow. Click. Wait. Oh, okay. Oh, now what's happening? More dog? Whoa, hello. Okay, I recognise two of these, the weird squash guy in the middle, isn't he? Ice Cap and Snow Drake confront you sighing. Jerry. Hello, Jerry. Everyone knows Jerry makes attacks two seconds longer. Okay. Uh, the snow drake, I just want to laugh at his jokes, I think. Oh, you're still getting blocked for nuggets, but I'm unable to allow it right now, Luca. Give me one second. There you go. I will add that as an acceptable term. I don't know why it's getting blocked still. Um... If you pet him, his head would go up. Wait, pet who? Oh, wait, Snowdrake's good now. I want to ignore you. Oh, hello. I'm Zell, I'm coming. I want to ignore you more, I guess? Oh, ow. Darn it. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing about Jerry. I'm just going to let these other guys go for now. Did they ditch me? Some friends. Yeah, they left. Wow, that's a pretty aggressive one given the current global climate. Jeez, Jerry. Learn to read the situation. Wait, did I not need to fight the other monsters? Could I have just ran away with them compared to Jerry? Oh. Angry dogs. Can I just stand still and be fine? What's that smell? Where's that smell? Um. I think it's a combination of chicken and nuggets. I. It's just the word nuggets that is get, it's getting angry about for some reason. Um, if you're a smell, wait, if you are a smell, identify yourself. Good job I didn't bump into me. Hmm, here's that weird smell. It makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you. Doggy assault you. Dogamy and Dogarissa. I know the answer is probably pet, but husband of dog Ressa knows only what he smells. Okay. Dogs are saying sickeningly sweet things to each other. Um the Dogs are too suspicious of your smell. Hmm. Darn it, I thought I was static enough. Okay, uh, re-sniff? The dog sniffed you again, but you smell just as weird as before. Hmm. Uh, what's the smell? Oh, darn it. Two health, that is not a great amount of health. Um... Let's eat the nice cream. There we go. I need to make sure I don't accidentally eat that snowman bit. Uh, what the hell? What? How? Uh, okay. Um, wait, roll around. May I roll around and smell different? Okay. 
Okay, now I'll resniff me. Okay, so they're cool now. Dogs think that you may be a lost puppy. Um, pet. Pet by another pup. Okay. Need to pet you as well. A dog, pet, a dog that pets dogs, amazing. Oh no, not this stupid thing again. Oh, jeez, okay, so you can run out of the way, it's just a bit part of the timing. Okay, so now I can start. Cool. Dogs can pet other dogs. A new world has opened up for us. Thanks, weird puppy. Why do I feel like I just enlightened them to like some new sexual kink of petting each other? But anyway. Turn every X into a O, then press the switch. Mm. Oh, just stand on it. I was expecting something a bit more complicated, but sure. What? How did you... <laughs> Virus, what is wrong with your traps? And more importantly, is there any left for me? Really? Wowie, you resist the flavour of my home cooked pasta. Just so you could share it with me. Fret not human. I, Master Chef Pyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. Uh, and yeah. Well, I'm glad he's happy. I mean, it was frozen, so, you know. My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. Yeah. Okay, I guess he's cool with me now. Human. Hmm. How do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look like m to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground, and now the solution is different. And as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I'm saying is, worry not, human. I, the great Papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. Better not to be a bit more complicated, but sure. And you did it without my help. Incredible, I'm impressed. You must care about puzzles like I do. Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then. It might even be too easy for you. Yeah. <laughs> Can I just walk through here or will it cause problems? Okay. Oh, hello again, Sans. Your job was solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help. Which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. This has been pretty fun. I'm not sure how long I want to go on one stream with this, but it's been pretty solid. Um, without giving anything too much away, how long is this game? Does anyone have a rough idea? Are we talking like 10 hours, 20? Or is it quite short? Like, I'm about two hours in now, so. Admittedly, two hours at probably a relatively slow pace. It's quite long. No clue. Fair enough then. I'm not complaining, I'm enjoying it, so I don't mind if it runs quite long, but I'm just curious how long I'm likely to be streaming it for. Anyway, it was made by the great Dr. Alphys. You can see these tiles, once I throw this switch, they will begin to change colour. Each colour has a different function. Red tiles are impassable, you cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric, they will electrocute you. Three to six. Hours or streams? Uh, 
um, green tiles are alarms. Step on them, you'll have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They'll make you feel delicious. Blue tiles are water. Swim through if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if blue tiles next to a yellow tile, the water will also bite you. Purple tiles are a little slippery. Jesus, there's a lot of stuff. Three to six days, hopefully not 24 hour days, that'd be a big stream. And just like the next tile, however. The slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles, they do, don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How's that? Understand? Uh, sure. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull this switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. Yeah, get ready. Uh huh. <laughs> that that's quite the puzzle. Hello there, Wick. Uh, hmm? Wick Tor Minecraft. Let's just go with Minecraft Noob. Hello there. If you have a preference of what you want me to call you, feel free. I'm really bad at saying people's names. <laughs> Actually, that spaghetti from earlier, it wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving, improving a lot. Best keeps it up next year so he can make something out of it. Oh. Do I have to not move because it's a dog? Don't be sorry about your nickname, I'm just bad at pronouncing names. I'm slightly dyslexic, so it tends to throw me off a bit. Only a little bit, it's not too bad. H hence why I can read all these things fine. This dog is staring blankly into the snow, waiting for it to turn into art. Well, that's not really useful, is it? On the floor inside is a box of pomer... Pomeraisins. What? Aware of dogs, please pet dog. Can I pet you? No, you're just gonna stay out of snow. Can I talk to the snow? Oh, no. Okay, the snow's part of the dog. I get it. Safe point. Knowing that dog will never give up trying to make perfect snow dog fills you with determination. Okay, okay. Uh, you're a strange looking person. That dog considers itself an artist, but it hasn't. It doesn't even know what to create. It probably doesn't help that its brain is the size of a piece of kibble. Well, that was interesting. Okay, I really stopped talking to people multiple times. They just say the same things over and over again. Well, oh, hello. So I assume... It's a snow papyrus. It's a lump of snow with the word sands written on it in red marker. Cool stuff. Okay, let's see. I need to turn these on so I can slide down or back through. Oh, wait, you just fall off the edge and come back. Oh, I get it, I get it. So you go, wee. I assumed it was like a boundary that I wouldn't fall off of. Oh shoot, no, I didn't, what? Oh, come on. I totally got that right, I just missed by an inch. Now, I'll do it in one, if it makes everyone happy. And on we go. Wait, my... I'm not pressing anything, so apparently I'm, there's more ice here. Wait. Where did the snow dog on my hat come from? And now it's just a pile of snow. Okay, that was random. Moving on. Oh. Now it's a bird. It's a snow poth. 
Don't know what snow puff is, but okay. What a tiny dog house. Woof. Oh. Hello? <laughs> hmm. That was an impressive disguise you have there, giant dog. Hello, giant dog. Attack 15, defense 8. I'm so excited that it thinks fighting is just play. Whoa, okay. Ow. Jeez. Dog, you're scary. Uh, okay. Beckon. Well, this is the first time I've died. I guess I just go back to the last save point. You cannot give up just yet. Eagle. Stay determined. F indeed. So much for like a perfect first run, eh? Well, I guess it wasn't perfect because of damage, but you know what I mean. So much for a deathless first run. Okay. Oh, I have to do this again. So I know, I know what I'm doing. down this time before we go and visit the dog. In case I missed something. So it's down here. Oh, wait. Sounds probably means this is going forwards, right? Wait. Multi-sounds. Gear... 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 Trot? Okay, come on, that's just being mean now. Oh, you gear trot. 16 attack, 8 defense. Some teams decorated it as a prank. Okay. Don't put any more. <laughs> oh, okay. No, no. Try. Ah, undecorate. Undecorate more. Okay. Less decorations still. Remove the stocking filled with chicken nuggets. Oh God, Luca, you were you doing the decorating? And um, his hands. What's up? Not much, but you appear to be here twice, which is a bit weird. Check every snow poof. Okay, I'll go back and check the snow blobs. Okay, so we have this one, it's a snow puff. And this is a snow puff. This is, however, a snow puff. <clears throat> Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. Snow puff. Really a snow puff? Behold, a snow puff. Ah, there's 30 gold inside this. What is this? Oh, magical snow puff. Well, let's try and interact with this dog again. I need to beck him over and then I need to pet him. Hello again, Ip. Uh, Lipsund. I don't know why I always say Ip every time I see your name. But welcome back anyway. Okay, so come here, dog. Okay, now I can pet him, right? Darn it. That one's quite weird. So I need to stay still and pa let it pass me on the blue bit. And yes, you did indeed tell me. Uh, great dog. Oh, wait, it's still not happy. I need to pet him more. Power field that prevents petting. Because I'll 
play with it. Guess we pet it again. Hmm. Pet capacity is forty percent. How much do I have to pet this stupid dog? Okay. Cool, can I jeez. That's a difficult dog to deal with. <laughs> uh Okay. Hmm. So sure if I want to go this way or back to see where Sans was, because it looked like there was a passageway down past him. Also there's some weird things in the wall. Oh, wait, he's gone. And the eyes are no oh, no, the eyes are still there. Hello again. I don't have a lot of health left, do I? Um, well, let's undecorate you. Wait, there's a dog in that reindeer's antlers. Well, I say reindeer, it's got like Night Stalker's face, but you know. I don't get that one. I'm assuming I'm supposed to stay still above the blue one, but I can just move out the way. You're a small, confused dog. Hmm. Cool. A house. With some very, very square yellow windows. Wait, is this forwards or not? Because I want to explore fully, but I feel like this might be forward, but the other way felt forward too. Hmm. This feels somewhat significant. It's a door. Okay. Hmm. Hello Ishii, how is it going? I'm playing some Undertale as you can see for the first time, so no spoilers, please. If you know the game, if you don't, then well, you can't give me spoilers anyway, so that's fine. Slow door. Hmm. Well, what's the, does the door give us any hints? It's got middle bit and then two wings, three things at the bottom. No, that doesn't mm. help. Just left, maybe? No. I do not understand. At this point I'm just doing trial and error, which is apparently not working very well. Yep, I do not understand. I already tried the top two and the bottom two, and the left two and the right two, and the diagonals. I think I've tried everything now. Except I think, I don't know if I've tried them one in, like, each individually. Wait, I've already tried them all off. Okay, yeah, I don't know. Unless I have to turn them on in a specific order or something, then I'm not sure. Okay, well, I'm just going to leave the door alone. 
I have another way I can go instead, so let's just pretend that makes sense. The house doesn't give me an indication, does it? Mm, doesn't seem to. Mm, the weird eyes in the wall don't seem like they help either. Yep, yeah, I have no idea. Oh well. We shall continue on our merry journey instead. Maybe we can come back, maybe we can't. This is a big ass bridge. Kind of terrifying. Human, this is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold, the gauntlet of deadly terror. Can I say the word? It will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. I like how there's a dog on a string spinning around. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm, I'm about to activate it now. That uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge it seems maybe too easy to defeat the human world. Yeah, we can't use this one. I'm a skeleton of standards. My puzzles are very fair. And my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. <laughs> Phew. He forgot the word? Oh, what are you looking at? This is another size of victory for fires. Oh dear. I feel like I'm not going to get to go back and see that door again. It kind of bothers me, but... I don't know what I was going to do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. Oh, yeah, I've already got that. Welcome to Snowden. friendly place. I'm not sure if I have to carry the snowman around with me or if I can leave him in the box, but he's just going to come around. Oh. Igloo. Don't want to walk the other side of town. Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. This is a friendly place. Let's visit a shop. Oh, hello. Wasn't the kind of interface I expected. Hello, traveller. How can I help you? Let's have a chat. Hello. Can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? What to do here? You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Grill buys has food and the library has information. If you're tired and... If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door, my sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town's gotten a lot more interesting since then. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and settled camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. Life is about the same as usual. A little claustrophobic, but we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Okay, okay. What can I buy? Tough glove. Do I already have a tough glove? Manly bandana. It has absolutely... Bicycle? Why? This is so... I don't know how you say that. He was 11 HP twice. Cinnamon. It's my own recipe. He was 22 HP. Maybe 
should get a bandana. Sure, let's buy a manly bandana. Maybe I can sell. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, that honestly makes sense. It's one of the things that's always been a bit strange about shops and games. Manly bandana arm armor seven has been a system where it has abs drawn on it. You equip the manly bandana. Did that one equip anything or was I just not wearing anything before? Oh I had a bandage on before, didn't I? Heals ten HP. It has already been used several times. Wait, heals ten HP? small person. Mum says sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? I don't know. Welcome to Snowden. Snowden's Premier Hotel. One night is 80 gold. No thank you. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable to you. That lady over there, something about her disturbs me. Because <laughs> she's a rabbit walking a rabbit. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Interesting reason for them to have. It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. Uh, this person's kind of creepy looking. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. Okay. This town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell you a fish lady about it. What? If there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. Okay. That's politics. Grillbees. Oh dear. I recognise a lot of these people. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and uh, hot guys. Fair enough. Hmm. Isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil, and when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. You better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy over there will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. We're sentries, we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. I'm thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk please. Okay then. Well that was an interesting thing. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be loose. <laughs> I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there's plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out of the fish. I mean, you got a photo back if it's the line I saw earlier. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up every rod and body, body gets in the way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city slickers slip on their books. The jukebox is broken. Oh, that sucks. Hello, Barkeep. Dots. Grilbs said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Okay, um, I guess that's everything in there. Hello there. Everyone's always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crisis. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. We all know that the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? 
because we can't do anything, so why be morose about it? Fair enough. I wasn't expecting to find like a full on town in this game. I don't know why, it just kind of caught me off guard. Hello, guys. That look in your eye. You're someone that has seen that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? I mean, I did say crosswords were hard earlier. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. Cough, cough. When I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Okay, Monster History Part 4. Fearing, wait, I pressure to start on the left. Fearing the humans no longer... We moved out from our old city home. We braved the harsh cold, damp swamp lands and searing heat until we reached what we're now called the capital. New home, again. Our king is really bad at names. Okay, I'll start on the left. There's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favourite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. <laughs> While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us, but they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Here I am, writing this book. The person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If monster doesn't want to fight, its defences will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill, um, let's end the chapter here. Love, hope, compassion, this is what people say monster souls are made out of, but the absolute nature of a soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Fair enough. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. I didn't even notice. Libra... Libra... Yeah. Um... Sure. So basically, Sans gets tons of mail and doesn't care. Papyrus gets either no mail or does care. So I guess we go north now. I think we explored most of this town. Let's play monsters and humans. Wait. Oh, it's a slime. Ah. To be young again. The world sure felt boundless. You aren't going to make me be the human again, are you? Ah. What a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Sure. Ah, my patience rewards me. Okay. Fair enough. Um. But why though? Hmm. Well, I guess that is not the answer. I'm still curious about that door. I'm hoping the library might give me some information, but it doesn't seem to off. Oh, I guess we keep going right. Ooh. Uh, guessing it's really cold here. I can't really see anything. Hello? Okay. Aha, papyrus again, I assume. Human? 
Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another past love. Admiration for another's puzzle solving skills. And the desire to have a cool smart person think you're cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great papyrus, will be your... No, no, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you, then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's papyrus. The newest member of the Royal Guard. Oh, I have to fight Paris, do I? That's um, quite a pose you got there, Paris. Okay, what are you doing? Paris, 20 attack, 20. Okay, yeah, so the goat lady is like four times as strong as Paris. He likes to say, yeah, I've noticed. Yeah. Um. Good. <laughs> okay, so now well, I'm supposed to date the pirates. <laughs> What's going on? This game is kind of nuts. My fabled blue attack. I mean, this would be quite scary if he mixed a couple of white ones in with it. Wait, what? Okay, I admit I didn't see this one coming. I'm not thinking about that date thing. There we go. So sorry, Papyrus Dab's MTT brand anime powder behind his ears? I have no idea what that is. Don't make me use my special attack. Oh. Well, that went badly. I can almost taste my future popularity. Whoa, hello. Papyrus, head of the Royal Guard. Oh, okay, calm down. I'll take one more hit before I need to. Faris, unparalleled spaghetti. 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 Tall? Ow. Faris realizes he doesn't have ears. Um. Okay. And dying will be really proud of me. I screwed up, right? I didn't die. I think I'm gonna eat the donut, I guess. I use a bandage, I guess, as well. Uh, the, the king will trim a hedge in the shape of my sp My brother will, well, he won't change very much. On it. 
Cosmic Foxes. <laughs> yeah. I'll have lots of admirers, but. Rattling his bones. Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? Someone like you is really rare. Okay. First, rattling phones. This is quite a long fight compared to all the others. And dating might be kind of hot. Wait. Right. On it. <sighs> Shall we use a bandage this time? Still kind of gooey. Mmm, delightful. After you cap your captain sent away. I did not realize what kind of thing that was gonna be. Who cares? Give up. Gee, this one's kinda of tricky. Considering his options. Give up or face my special attack. Yeah, very soon I will use my special attack. I've already used two healing items this time. I'm not having a good time. Um, one more time. Not too long and I will use our special. Am I doing something wrong here? Because I'm just going on for it. Try hard to play cool. This is your last chance to perform a special attack. I mean, I'm probably gonna die soon anyway, so that's fine. My heart's quite cool. The whole of my special attack. Bone. Dog. What the heck? That's my special attack. Hey, you stupid dog. Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone. Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack. Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. So here's an absolutely normal attack. Cool, one health. Um I'm too weak, I was easily able to capture you. I'll now send you to the capture zone. Or as Sans calls it, a garage. You're in a doghouse now, and yeah. Wait, was I supposed to lose that fight? Was that impossible to win? Or am I just bad? It's a squeaky chew toy. So note from Papyrus. Sorry I have to lock you in the guest room until Diana arrives. Feel free to make yourself at home. Refreshments and accom accommodations have been provided. Nefully yours. Unfortunately, it's just dry food. It's too small to sleep on. Well, I guess I'll just leave. Well, that didn't work out very well, did it? Okay, let's go... Wait, we're going to go back taking the little thing. Having a couple of those might be good. Get two heals out of each for 11 at a time. That seems pretty sweet. That's four help. Four 11 heals for me. You know, I actually think I'm gonna leave it here for today. It seems like a reasonable point to do it. I'll rechallenge Papyrus next time, but I'm starting to get a little bit burnt out, and also this apparently involves a lot of talking from all the reading. And also I need to go shopping, I'm afraid. So I think I'm gonna leave it here today. I want to 
say thank you though because I've had loads of people in that I've not seen before. So thanks to Luca, Kira, Flowerfell, Mine Creepy, and I think there's someone else. Oh, Ips Lipsund, uh, Minecraft Noob, and Ishi. So thank you to everyone that's been by today. It's been really cool having a bunch of new faces. I will be back. I'm quite enjoying this, so I'll be back to play some more of it on Tuesday at 1 o'clock um, British time. So if anyone wants to pop back again then, feel free to. Um, feel free to like join Discord and all that kind of crap if you're particularly interested. If not, I appreciate everyone stopping by, and I'll hopefully see you guys next time. So, adios.